in this video I'll demonstrate you how to prepare a protein for docking in the last video we have learned how to download the structure of protein and ligand from the internet so in this video I'll be dealing exclusively exclusively with the protein so that we can get the structure and we can prepare it for docking so in order to download the structure of protein just go to uh, PDB that is a uh, RCSB PDB and here we are searching for the histamine H1 receptor. Just type a histamine H1 and you have two structures available. Uh, 7DFL, Cairo EM structure of histamine H1 receptor GK complex and 3RZD. I have already mentioned that how to download the structure but simply we are downloading it from here 3RZD. We are going to download this structure. In the last video I have demonstrated how to download the structure by taking this as an example. So we are going to proceed our uh, docking with this structure 3RZD. So click on it and you have to download the PDB format file. In my case, I have already downloaded the PDB format file and it's here. Okay. So if you want to download, you can go to download files, download PDB format and it will be downloaded. So since I have downloaded the file, I'm going to open it in Autodoc. In order to open the protein in Autodoc, you can either right click here, read molecule and select your molecule open you can also open from file read molecule the same whatever so this is the protein the 3 r z e protein histamine h1 receptor obtained from the internet and uh, if you look at the chains if you want to uh, if you want to have a detailed look at this uh, protein you can click left click on this uh, plus button near the protein and it only has one chain and the chain is named a if you again click here, you can see the list of amino acids and molecules in chain A. And if you scroll down, you can see some heteroatom, phosphate, and the HOH is water molecule, etc. So the first step in preparing a protein for docking is to remove the water molecules in the protein. This is because if there is water molecule present in the protein, we cannot predict how this is going to interact with the ligand. It's very difficult to predict the interaction of water molecule with the ligand and the docking area. So always keep in mind, remove or delete water molecules before starting to do anything with the protein structure. In order to delete the water molecule, just go to edit and you have an option here, delete water. Click delete water. The water molecules have been deleted. And if you doubt the water molecules have been deleted, just uh, go to the chain A and scroll down now you can see that you don't have the water molecule here it's PO4, PO4, HE and OLE and up to this point uh, you have the uh, isoleucine that's the amino acid residue and you have some other heteroatoms here we'll come to that later so in order to know more about your protein you can refer directly to the structure available from the protein data bag that you have downloaded uh, you'll get some details, uh, the method by which the structure has been determined, X-ray diffraction. The resolution is 3.10 Armstrong, okay. And you can get some details from here. And if you want more details, you can refer to the citation because uh, almost everything will be mentioned in the citation. And especially if you are not doing a blind docking, that means if you are go going directly with a molecule and docking, you should identify the position of the docking site or where the ligand is going to talk so in order to get that idea you have to uh, read the literature and you have to from this uh, research article you may get that details if you don't have an idea about the docking site then you have to proceed with blind docking i'll be demonstrating blind docking later in the coming videos so let's continue with the protein and uh, in the structure scroll down and you can see the macromolecule and the chain a that's the histamine H1 receptor and the lysosome chimera. So it's the, this is the chain. Chain A is a histamine H1 receptor. And this is evident from here that because we only have one chain. In some molecules, there will be more than one chain. And uh, in that case, we have to delete the unwanted chains. Because if there are chain B, C, D, etc. And our ligand is going to dock with chain A. Then chain B, C, D, etc. are not required there. You can delete them so that your computation will be much easier and faster. Now, here the receptor is in chain A. And just move down. 
and you can see that there are some small molecules that that's an oil C that's uh, that's the name of the molecule and it's represented as chain G uh, 5 EHF chain B D7 VF chain C and the phosphate F chain D E and F and all these are ligands and if you want a detailed uh, and all these are ligands attached to the structure. If you want any detailed uh, interact uh, details about the interaction of this ligand and our given protein, you can go and search in this ligand interaction. But uh, one thing you have to notice that here OLC, 5EH, etc. They are given chains G, B, C, D, E, F, etc. But in our molecule, we only have chain A. We don't have other chains. Please note that this in bracket it's given as other A. That is a uh, if you uh, click at this I, you can see that if the label underscore FM underscore ID and the author assigned chain ID do not coincide, it will be represented as this. That means our author, the author of this paper and the one who uh, put this article in the site have already mentioned that OLC, 5EH, D7V, PO4, etc. All these ligands belong to chain A. He never mentioned G, B, C or any other chains. So he already mentioned that all of these ligands are present in chain A. So in this case, we don't want to worry about any other chains because author has represented that all the chain, all stated that all the um, ligands are present in chain A itself. Okay. Uh, now we only have one chain. We have deleted all the water molecules. The next step is to delete the heteroatoms because uh, on moving down in chain A, you can see that there are other heteroatoms other than the amino acids like PO4. Uh, oil C, D7V, then uh, 5-HE, ILE, histamine, etc. There are many heteroatoms. In order to delete these heteroatoms, go to select. You can directly delete from here, but the easiest way is to go to select. Select from string. And in atom set, type HETATM for heteroatom and click add. See. Now, there are some uh, yellow indications here, or the heteroatoms are highlighted in yellow. Click Dismiss. And in this chain A, in the details of chain A, you can see that the heteroatoms, the heteroatoms are uh, represented like this, or they are highlighted using this yellow mark. Then go to Edit, Delete, Delete Selector Atoms and continue. The heteroatoms are now being deleted. Okay. So you don't have any heteroatom left in this molecule. Okay. Uh, you can uh, search here also. You can see that there are no heteroatoms here. All these are amino acids, isoleucine, histamine, etc. Histamine, etc. So he all heteroatoms have been removed. And you can see that if you delete an atom, for example, I'm good for a demonstration, I'm selecting chain A, I'm uh, selecting edit, delete, and delete selector atoms, it will pop up a warning window that the command cannot be undone, you wish to continue. You have to select continue if you want to delete this, because once you delete the chain, it is impossible to restore it. You can undo that. Okay, I forgot to explain it in the last step. Okay, now we have removed the heteroatoms. The next step is adding hydrogens. Go to edit, hydrogens, add, and add polar hydrogens. See, if you're adding polar hydrogens, hydrogens will be added to the uh, electronegative atoms like oxygen, nitrogen, etc. And if you add all hydrogens, hydrogen will be added to any place, any missing uh, location. So just add the polar hydrogen and click OK. Now you have added the polar hydrogen. And uh, for our convenience, we can go to Edit, go to MISC, and check for missing atoms. Here there are two residues with missing atoms. See, one thing you have to notice is that, actually, in the case of Autodoc-like software, in the case of Autodoc, if these missing atoms are in the residue where your docking is going to take place, then you'll have to fix them or you'll get erratic result. 
and if these atoms or this this uh, these residues doesn't have anything to do with the docking site that means if it is far away from the docking site and do not have any interaction with the docking site or ligand then you don't have to bother about fixing that so if you have a proper idea of your docking site see the missing residues are in the lys442 and arg481 residues there are missing atoms so if you are docking is somewhere near or on this residues then you will have to fix them or you can just leave them like that but in this case there are only two uh, two residues with missing atoms you can fix them just select all residues then dismiss go to edit again go to misc and repair missing atoms the 12 atoms with close contact uh, have been repaired and just save as uh, two sets save as two sets and dismiss so you have repaired all the missing atoms go to edit misc again check for any missing atom and you can see zero residues with missing atom because we have already repaired the missing atoms and this step i have already mentioned that this step is not mandatory in the case of auto dock unless it is not somewhere near the docking site that they, that means the residues with the missing atoms but in the case of any other molecular uh, dynamic or md simulation softwares it is mandatory to repair the missing atoms so we have uh, added the deleted so in the case of this protein molecule we have identified the chain there's only one chain we have uh, deleted the water we have added hydrogens then we have deleted the hetero atoms also we have repaired the missing atoms now it times to it, time to compute the charges add coleman charges that means go to edit charges add coleman charges total coleman charges added as 2 okay again go to edit charges check total on residues go check total charges on residues no residues with non integral charge spot okay so a molecule is currently ready for docking uh, go to edit uh, and uh, in atoms assign ad for type assign ad for type now it's completely ready now uh, one thing you have to notice that this is a pdb format file the file we took 3 hours a day was a pdb format file in order to continue docking we have to convert it into a pdb qt format file the difference between pdb structure and pdb qt structure is that pdb structure specifies the uh, structure of the uh, molecule which you have obtained from the protein data bank whereas pdb qt file is a pdb file with additional q and t uh, extensions that is q uh, stands for charge that we have calculated the um, Coleman's charge now and also T uh, stands for atom types we have done it like edit atoms and assign ad for type now it's a pdb qt format file in order to save it as pdb qt you can either go to file save and you can select write pdb qt or you can go to grid macromolecules choose select your molecule and click select molecule so you will get a message initializing and contains no non-bonded atoms now your molecule is ready click ok and it will have to uh, the, uh, save the file to workspace in the pdb qt format and i'm not going to change the name i'm just change, uh, saving it as 3rfd.pdbqt save so the protein is now ready one thing i have to say that in the last video i forgot to say that when you are doing this calculations make sure that in view you click this file name extension on so you can see the file names because in autodoc in the next steps in preparing the grid file and preparing the docking parameter file you will have to type the extension or sometimes the program may not work so please make sure that the file name extension is clicked on so you can see the extension of your file thank you